how did I get into the church? How did I get into Methodism? Um, I got into the church in the beginning because I had a drug problem. My wife had to drag me to church. And uh, I didn't want to be at church. And uh, I was an army officer. I was uh, serving, I was about the 21st, 22nd year of service, and I was in Heidelberg, Germany. And my wife uh, basically forced me to go to church one morning. She said, you, you, this is part of responsibility being a father. I don't care what it is you believe or don't believe. Get to church. You're going to church. I'm taking you to church. So I went. And, um, you know, you've, you've heard a thousand sermons. I was raised in the church. Been away from the church for many years. And um, sometime during that service, uh, God started talking to me. Uh, there... I was surrounded by 200 people there in this chapel in Heidelberg, Germany. It was English. It was an American chaplain, the army chaplain. But he was talking to me. And um, I walked out uh, different. And I didn't know what the whole plan was, but I knew that the direction in which I was going to be leading my post-army life had just changed. It had just changed. I didn't know, didn't know all of it. And so I began the study, I began reading, I began think experimenting. Interestingly enough, going back to how God provides, um, my boss um, was a, a son of a Methodist pastor. And uh, on Monday morning, he was at church on Sundays, and on Monday morning, after we got our troops doing their various thing, he would come upstairs for a coffee break. He'd have a cup of coffee, and I have a bagel. We both have a cup of coffee. And our coffee break would be spent talking about the previous day's service. We'd unpack it. 10, 15 minutes. And every Monday I got to where I looked forward to that more and more and more and more. And all I can tell you is, is that slowly over time it began to dawn on me that I was being called into ministry. And I, and I had to fight past this issue of unworthiness. You know, I'd been away from the church for 20 years. Who, who am I to go be served? serving God? And the answer was, you're exactly who I'm looking for. You're, it's the fact that you have been away, which makes you uh, more familiar with the issues that are in front. Um, I fell in love with Methodism through John Wesley. I fell in, in love with Methodism over, the, I was raised very much in a turn or burn mindset. Turn or burn is a terminology, either you have forth faith or you're going to burn in hell kind of logic. Turn your life around or you're going to burn. That's where the Turner Burn comes from. And it always bothered me. I didn't like that. It troubled me. And this embracement of this idea of grace that Wesley did, just, I loved it. So then I went, then I started seminary in Washington, D.C. after I got out of the Army, and I loved it. But I kept, I kept thinking I have this idea that I could be like a Sunday school teacher, or I could be a, a church administrator, uh, or those kinds of things. And... Uh, God kept saying, no, I want you to preach. I want you to preach. It took me, it took me a while to get to the place where I was on God's plan. And um, I've got a little knock or two on my head from trying to do it my way. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm answering God's call. And um, it was hard for me to retire. I'm going to retire this June. I'm 71. And I feel like um, I'm still going to be doing things, trying to help people learn how to be better leaders. But at the end of the day, this has been a wonderful 20 years. I've just loved it. Uh, there's been a day or two where it's really hard. But by and large, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm going about God's work. Served the military for right at 30 years. I've been serving God for 20. So almost my entire adult life has been in some kind of service. So that's how I ended up there was... God invited me along and I came along for the ride. So.